Hi all, uh, welcome to the Game Tricks Engine Control System Review. It's a joystick, a throttle uh, for the PC. And it's made by the manufacturer Game Tricks, which is located in uh, Russia. And that is basically also the reason why I do this review. Because you only can find uh, Russian reviews about it and not really English ones. Um, the reason why I bought this is that I um, actually was searching for a hotel system and I only could find the uh, X55 and the X52 from SciTech, which is, uh, has some good things like uh, the throttle, the throttle are good, but then the stick was not, fair, not to my liking. Um, there's also like the Freshmaster Warthog, which is uh, really good, but it's pretty expensive. And uh, also like the SciTech ones are like 245 uh, euros. So um, I actually found this joystick from Game Tricks and it's only 35 euros, which is uh, pretty good. Um, so I will show you the box. So this is the box, as you can see. There are some nice uh, cartoons on it. And the specifications. And more cartoons and awesome graphics. I can't really read what's on there, but that's maybe part of the fun. So I will open it. So. Um, there are some folders. War Thunder code. And some warranty information, I think. More warranty information. I can't really read. Um, there is no driver CD in it, as far as I can see. And this is actual the joystick. So here it is. I didn't have tried it yet. So it's as much as a surprise for you as for me. It feels uh, quite good. It's not too heavy. It's not like like the first monster war talk, which is uh, pretty heavy. There's like this button. You can. Uh, this is for the, the strength for the throttle. Yeah. It goes forward and backwards. Here it has like, I think, uh, a puff head switch. Here it has a rotary switch. Now I'm actually uh, using this with my right hand, but I should do it with my left hand. Um, there are like uh, four buttons on here, A, B, C, D and D. Uh, here's another rotary switch. And here's the mode button. And with this mode button you can select three other uh, purposes for your already assigned buttons. Uh, so you can actually assign uh, 12 combinations, I think. I'll show it to you much better. So, for four, 35 euros, it feels pretty good. The whole grip is from rubber. And I can actually touch all the buttons. They are all in reach, so that is good. So let's try this on the PC. 
So, I connected uh, the throttle to my uh, PC with the one meter long cable, which was enough for me. And I think uh, most joysticks don't have uh, any longer cables, so... Um, I didn't need a driver for this, so that's great. And you're now looking at the properties of this joystick. Uh, so you can see what it actually uh, does. So here you can see the throttle, which is great. And here you can see if I rotate the knobs. And then this one. So that's working. And then you got the A, B, C, and D. And, uh, and here there is this button. And it's uh, using the first row of uh, buttons. Um, so to switch it to the next row of buttons, you just have to press this blue button. It starts blinking, so you know which mode it is. And as you can see, if I press the buttons and the four-way switch, it's now using uh, the other configuration, which is uh, great. And if I do it, press it another time, it is e uh, blinking even faster, and it's. Uh, now using the bottom row button. So there's plenty of configuration options here. Uh, one other thing is that uh, I just said this thing is made from rubber, but it actually isn't. It's just made of plastic, but it feels like rubber. So that's, I don't know how they did it, but it's uh, really great. Uh, so let's play a game with this. So, I'm actually uh, playing this game for uh, a while now with this new uh, throttle and uh, I'm very happy with it. So, uh, I currently use uh, one of the modes for uh, landing and uh, getting up so I can use all my thrusters, use all the buttons just to, to move thrusters and uh, recheck my gear. Landing gear retracted. And uh, it's actually time for the roundup of this joystick. And uh, to start with the positive, uh, one of the things is that it's really, really cheap for uh, a throttle. It's only uh, 45 euros. Maybe you can find it cheaper. But uh, I bought it for 45 euros. And uh, another thing is that uh, you have different modes, which is also great. So I, I now, for example, switch to the hyperspace mode. So I can uh, super cruise to uh, the new location. And uh, of course, because of that, you have enough buttons and rotary switches. Um, I still didn't have assigned uh, everything, so there are still uh, still have space left to uh, assign other buttons. Um, one of the negative things is that uh, it's not really negative because in the in game I didn't really notice it, but uh, the grip can be better uh, because sometimes if you do a really really fast forward or backwards. It slips a little bit because the, the grips beneath the throttle are too small, so they can't hold the joystick into place. And uh, another minor negative thing is that it's not really easy to get. Uh, you have to search for it. I actually bought this uh, joystick on uh, flightsimcontrols.com and uh, yeah, I didn't really find another place to uh, buy it. Maybe uh, also shop also charging. has it. And uh, yeah, you you have to to look around. So I'm uh, in general very happy with the joystick. Four, 
So, uh, I think, thanks for watching, and uh, I will play this game uh, for some more with this uh, awesome throttle. So, uh, maybe see you later.